Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about diversity techniques in wireless communication. Diversity techniques in wireless communication. The diversity is a good technique applied in mobile communication receiver circuits where there is multipath environments. The diversity techniques uses the nature of the propagation path characteristics for improving the sensitivity of the receivers. It will improve the wireless links at less cost. It does not require prior training because a training sequence is not needed by a transmitter like an equalizer. Diversity technique finds a way of analyzing signal paths for multipath cellular environment. The diversity decisions made at the receiver end and they are not known to the transmitter. Diversity is very efficient when the transmission channels carries fading copies of one signal. The joint probability density function with field strength PDF R1, R2, R3 is somewhat equal to the marginal PDFs for wireless channels. The correlation coefficient characterizes correlation between signals on various diversity channels. The simple concept of diversity is that even if a radio signal path experiences a deep fade, there will be another independent signal path available for analysis. Received signal level variations at various diversity branches are shown in this diagram. Consider the diagram given here. A received signal is observed with many variations. Assume two antennae with specific separation between them are located on a terminal. In this figure, signal level of the antenna 1 suffers fading, whereas signal level of antenna 2 fades in seldom cases. Note that branch 1 is deeply faded, whereas branch 2 is not highly faded. Diversity techniques are broadly classified into two major categories as follows. First is microdiversity. The next one is macro diversity. Micro diversity is further classified into spatial diversity. That is, many antenna elements are separated in space. Second one is temporal diversity. That is, repetition of the transmitted signal at various time. The third diversity is frequency diversity. Transmission of signal on various frequencies. Fourth is angular diversity, that is, multiple antennas with many antenna patterns. Fifth one is polarization, that is, multiple antennas receiving vertical and horizontal polarizations. Spatial diversity, it is the simplest conventional form of diversity. The space diversity scheme is also called as antenna diversity scheme. The transmit signal is obtained at many antenna elements. Here is a block diagram of space diversity representation shown here. The performance of the system is influenced by the correlation of signals between antenna elements. In this conventional methods of wireless communication, the availability of direct path between transmitter and the receiver is not assumed. Hence, the occurrence of relay fading is present. But the antenna space diversity can achieve independent fading changes by applying spatially separated antennas. The next diversity is temporal diversity. As a wireless propagation channel is time variant, signals that are received at different times are uncorrelated. For sufficient decorrelation, 
the temporal distance must be at least one divided by two v max, where v max is the maximum Doppler frequency. Temporal diversity can be realized in different ways. First one is repetition coding. Second one is automatic repeat request. And the third one is combination of interleaving and coding. Now we discuss repetition coding. The signal is repeated several times where the repetition intervals are long enough to achieve decorrelation. This obviously achieves diversity but also highly bandwidth inefficient. Spectral efficiency decreases by a factor that is equal to the number of repetitions. The next temporal diversity technique is automatic repeat request ARQ. The receiver sends a message to the transmitter to indicate whether it received the data with sufficient quality. If this is not the case, then the transmission is repeated. The spectral efficiency of ARQ is better than that of repetition coding since it requires multiple transmission only. When the first transmission occurs in a bad fading state, while for repetition coding, retransmission occurs always. Third method of temporal diversity is combination of interleaving and coding. A more advanced version of repetition coding is forward error correction coding with interleaving. The different symbols of a code word are transmitted at different times, which increases the probability that at least some of them arrive with a good SNR, that is signal to noise ratio. The transmitted code word then be reconstructed. Now we discuss about frequency diversity. Frequency diversity is implemented by transmitting information on more than one carrier frequency. The frequency is separated by more than the coherence bandwidth of the channel will be uncorrelated and will does not experience the same fades. Theoretically, if the channels are uncorrelated, the probability of simultaneous fading will be the product of the individual fading probabilities. Theoretically, if the channels are uncorrelated, the probability of simultaneous fading will be the product of the individual fading probabilities. Rho is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus 2 pi the whole square, S of x tau square, open bracket F2 minus F1 the whole square. The two signals have to be at least one coherence bandwidth apart from each other. It is not common to actually repeat the same information at two different frequencies as this would greatly decrease spectral efficiency. Rather, information is spread over a large bandwidth so that small parts of the information are conveyed by different frequency components. The receiver can then average over the different frequencies to recover the original information. This spreading can be done by different methods. They are compressing the information in time. Example, TDMA, that is time division multiple access. Code division multiple access, that is CDMA. Multi carrier CDMA and coded orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. Frequency hopping in conjunction with coding. Advantages of frequency diversity. By using redundant signal transmission, this diversity improve link transmission quality. New OFDA modulation uses frequency diversity. Disadvantages of frequency diversity. It requires large bandwidth, more number of receivers are required, and it is a high cost. Fourth type of diversity is angular diversity. 
Angular diversity enhances the decorrelation of signals at closely spaced antennas. Different antenna patterns can be achieved very easily. But even identical antennas can have different patterns when mounted close to each other. This effect is due to mutual coupling. Antenna B acts as a reflector for antenna A, whose pattern is therefore skewed to the left. Patch antennas and inverted F antennas can be placed on all parts of the casing. In all of these cases, decorrelation is good even if the antennas are placed very close to each other. Fifth type of diversity technique is polarization diversity. In polarization diversity, both horizontal and vertical polarization are involved. In case if a signal is transmitted by a pair of polarized antennas and they are received by another pair of antennas, then two uncorrelated fading signals will be received because different fading variations are experienced by horizontal and vertical polarizations and due to different coefficient values of the tall building walls. The next classification of diversity is macro diversity. The micro diversity methods that combat small scale fading which is the fading created by interference effects. These diversity methods are not suitable for combating large scale fading. The correlation distance for large scale fading are on the order of tens or hundreds of meters. So the temporal diversity or spatial diversity cannot be used either. So to reduce large scale fading, macro diversity is used. In macro diversity, a large distance between base station 1 and base station 2 is maintained. On frequency repeaters that receive a signal and retransmit, an amplified version of it is used. The same signal is transmitted simultaneously from different base stations called sim simulcast. The two base stations should be synchronized in cellular applications. Advantages of macro diversity. To compensate for large scale fading effects, macro diversity technique is used. Distance between each base station is increased. On frequency repeaters or simulcast methods are used. Drawbacks of macro diversity. Simulcast requires large amount of signaling information that has to be carried on landlines. So it requires large bandwidth. On frequency repeater causes delay dispersion. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.